Welcome back to Desert Wood Days, and I am sitting here with the lovely Dr. Marion Afua. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for having me. This is indeed a pleasure to be sitting across from you, as oh, always. So it's thank you. Such a pleasure to have yeah. you. You got the menu memo today. I huh? guess we did get the menu because we kind of we, we do this a lot, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we're matching today. It's the good energy. Okay, it's okay. the flow. It's the fabulous feminine energy. That's yes, yes, so. yes. Well, you know, I know you got all these real and congratulations on your new marriage. Yes, thank you, thank you, yes, thank you. Yes, yes, it's such a pleasure to meet Mr. William. Yes, <laughs> finally, right yeah. after all this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you got all those titles. But mm. today I want to talk to Marion, the performer, oh, the wow. singer. That's who I want to talk yes. to today. Yes. Telling all my business. I'm right? telling all of it today. <laughs> That's all right. How long have you been performing, Marion? Um, I've been performing since I was about four years old, literally. Of course, growing up, you know, in a black African American community. Um, churches is the first place, family mm. reunions and where you're called out, school plays and and things such as that. So I've been performing since I was four. Uh, my first professional performing job was six with the People's Theater. Wow. With uh, Moon Lamb, Gerald Wallace, and Kiki Shepard were wow. actually our trainers in that program. Uh -huh. They saw me at school. And they said, come up on stage if you want to dance with us. And Get this little girl up here. And I got up there and I just started <laughs> performing and dancing with them. So it was really um, something that I've always been impassioned about, which is why I keep it low key because it is my deepest passion right. and um, brings me the greatest level of joy. Right. So. And that's what we're talking about um, being an entertainer. We forget about being a kid. That yeah. kid has no inhibition, just get up there and do how, what, however they're feeling for the moment. Absolutely. And that is what got you recognized, got you seen because mm -hmm. you were that kid doing what she had a passion for in Absolutely. her heart. Absolutely. That is awesome. Yeah, so that just that's how we opened the door. And my mother and father, they knew that I had the ability to sing. And at that time, I was taking piano lessons and things like that. So they knew that I was always speaking and, and singing. So my father was like, okay, you can do this for now. For now? For now. You know, so I grew up in a time where entertaining was very big. But on my family, they were pushing more right. formal structures of education. Education. Mm -hmm. And that's where we got to the Dr. Mary that's how Dr. I Mary. had to announce Dr. Mary in Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's been a journey. <laughs> but yes, indeed. Thank you for that. Most people may see the serious side of Mary. And you know I've told you in the past, but we have to let them see something different. Indeed. What inspired you to sing? What, what would you say is your personal style, I want to ask? Oh, wow. Um... First question, what started me to sing in? Just seeing the music around me. Mm. Um, I was around my mother and father's family. They are all very musical families. Uh, we sang all the time. The, the Negro spirituals, we mm. sang. We sang the traditional songs in Wolof. Mm. We sang traditional songs in Geechee. So it didn't matter. There was always music around. Um, and for those people that don't know some of those terms you're using, your family is from Africa? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, from Senegal. My father's family is from Senegal. My mother's one part um, Ghanaian. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of the traditional things. The Geechee Gullah people you may have heard about. Okay. Those are our people. Okay. Yeah. So how would you describe your style of singing? Um, most people say that I'm very emotive and fun. And uh, I've even heard words like, perfect resonance and pitch, which I had no idea about that until uh, I got like in high school and somebody, a voice trainer actually heard my voice and was like, oh no, like you hit pitch on. Don't let people tell you what to do. Wow. Just right. listen and go with it. Just go with it. And that's, um, so people see me in that way. I'm mm -hmm. definitely a, a entertainer. I like to entertain. I just right. don't like to do a lot of straight stuff. But I don't do a lot of the things we hear now, all the roles and things uh -huh. like that. I believe that truly Growing up, we didn't watch television a lot, mm. except for PBS, mm. right? And so a lot of times um, I watched 
literally the Lawrence Welk show. Lawrence Welk, yes. Um, that's dating myself probably a little bit, but the Lawrence <laughs> Welk show. Um, I watched the Ed Felt Sullivan show. Uh -huh. I watched um, all the shows on PBS, all the movies, all the mu musical movies. Yeah, Lena Horne. Shows that performed. Yes. yes. Lena Horne, the Williams Brothers. I mean, Phyllis Hyman became my person. Uh, when I was in middle school, I yes. just something about the way she sang just spoke to my soul on so many levels. She along told with really stories. Yes. That, yeah, and I am a storyteller. I yes. do believe in that part transferring over. I, I really believe that it is my job as a musician, as a vocalist, to take people to where the songwriter mm -hmm. wanted them to be and experience. So. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Marion, we're going to stick, we're staying with performing, but mm -hmm. there is another piece to you that I believe contributes to your performing. You're also a lifestyle alchemist. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, alchemy, just like it says from the scientific component, is that you are missing elements to bring about a new element, right? Mm -hmm. You mix iron and gold and you come up with this gold, right? silver and encumbered with gold. And that's the same thing with our life. It's to taking all the different parts of our lives and putting it together in such a way that we create this new being, right. this new existence. And so that is something that I do as a life coach and right. trainer. And, and, I, and I see that as a piece of being a performer, telling stories, mm -hmm. bringing out these different lives. I mean, because, you know, sometimes I was speaking with another guest about sometimes you see something or you hear something and it resonates with you. Absolutely. So as a performer, that's what you're giving to your audience. Like you said, mm -hmm. you're not just, you're not just performing. I should use the word entertaining. Yeah. You're entertaining and you're showing them something. But new. it's also healing. And it's yeah. also, like I said, it's a journey. Right. I am the conductor, mm -hmm. right? Vocally, I'm using my voice and right. the emotions of my voice. The lyrics of the song, you know, where I accent or I go lower, or higher, or play with it. It truly is like dancing. Right. You know, it, it really is. And it's that's why an I say instrument. It. It's my instrument, right? right? So the same right. way that you would hear a saxophonist, you know, ad lib, I do the same thing. Um, jazz has a great influence because I said show tunes, grew up very much doing that, watching that. So I, I wanted to be like Celia Cruz. I wanted to be. Right. I, I was going to be Lola Falana. Right. I wanted to be her, right? I was going to ask for a few of your, your inspirations, but you've named several yeah. of them. Yeah, Phyllis Hyman being one, yes. Lola Falana. Yes. You've named, I mean, watching a Lawrence Welk show, those were inspirations mm -hmm. where you grown up, yes. uh, which contributed to your finding okay. yourself. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Um, creating your musical abilities. So it created who Marion is yes, as definitely. an entertainer. Definitely, I pay homage to all those that came before me. Um, I can remember um, as a young girl watching Celia Cruz, and I think she was just on Sesame Street initially, and then like the next week they showed a movie of her on her life story or something, mm -hmm. or her concert. Um, and it just was just so amazing. Like I knew I wanted to be on stage with bands. I knew I wanted to make people laugh and dance and and I felt good doing that, too. So, What new pro projects do you have coming up? Um, well, the new project I have coming up, as it relates to my vocal, is that I'm going to bring back the Phyllis Hyman show. Okay. So it's kind of cool. You had me sing that a little bit. Yeah. So it's a one-woman story, but I've rewritten it and expanded to include her husband, Larry Graham, which is oh, a very okay. instrumental person, and also Miss um, Shepard, um, who was her designer and very best friend. And she's also from Milwaukee, my hometown. Okay. And uh, so I wanted to include those two characters because they were so instrumental in supporting her and, and driving. And I want more of her life to come out. Yes. Because it's such a, a colorful and beautiful story right. to see her journey. And there's more to her story than what we yes. normally see. There's more to, there's so much more that she did for yes. people who wanted to come into it. And I only had one chance to meet her. It lasted about 15 seconds. And right away when she heard my voice, she said, oh, no, you have resonance. You're going to mm. go far. And I went, what, what? Wow. You know, so I've always hold, held on to that, you know, because. Have you ever told, been told that you resemble her a little bit? Somebody, yeah. When I did the show, someone said, oh, my God, it's uncanny. Mm. Someone that actually knew her saw yeah. me in the show when I did it. And they went, oh, my God, it's uncanny. 
how much you look like her and you know you kind of carry yourself boldly like her and I'm thinking okay oh, let me go back and look at a few more of those thing. things yes but I appreciate her and so um, when I got the idea to do that I thought it was just right timely so awesome. the more I learn about her I see it yeah so where can our audience find you um, you can find me on social media you can find me as Marion's sister of four, or you can look for a vocalist, Marion Fua. Hey, hey, it was such a pleasure having you here today. Thank you. Somebody else. Yeah, I want to change.